NYC Fighters. Alright guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we are bringing you another deck profile Oops, no, Back to back to back to back back Anyway, with this deck profile we are running Dende's Piccolo and then it's a wish leader Piccolo brimming with confidence And let's get into this no specific order. It's a Mono yellow and some black cards in here, but majority of the cards is yellow but no further ado, let's get into this. Right off the bat, let's jump into the ultimate, since that's on the top of the list. Uh, Beyond Darkness, the Migra. It's an $80 card. I might pick that up. It's a real good card. Uh, so we got one green card, which you're just going to be bringing this card out when you KO any card. So it's none other than Frieza, Surprise Attack Frieza. <clears throat> Excuse me. Activate the skill when your opponent's battle card is KO'd. If Frieza is not in play, well, this surprise attack Frieza is not in play, you may play this card from your hand. Alright, so let's get into this. This is a one drop. It's only running one of these. When you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost 2 or less, ignoring barrier, barrier, switch it to rest mode. So that gets around that 2 drop, you know, Goku and all that other stuff that has barrier. Then we got the one drop, uh, Freezes Revenge in Motion. It's running two of these. Place this card in your drop, draw one card, then choose one Freezer with an entry cost of four or less from your deck, place into your drop. Then shuffle your deck. And then we got Tagoma. Tagoma. When you play this card from your hand, choose up to one yellow desired card from your deck or drop, add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. It's running three of these. Then we also got. The one called Swishmaker Dende, he's running two of these. When you play this card, choose up to one Dragon Ball from your deck, add it to your hand. And then you can choose an active main, choose one other Namekian card in your battle area. Place this card under the chosen battle card, and it gains 5k for the turn. Then we have Deadly Defender Frieza, it's a three cost, but he's only running one of these. During your opponent's turn, if your leader card is yellow, and this card is in rest mode, your opponent can't attack your leader. So, And then it also gets neg 5. So you, you have to attack this card. And it's 15k on your... Not your turn, but your opponent's turn while it's attacking this card. And on one cost, on a three cost, back, uh, Frieza back from hell. It's He's only running one of these. Only one of these could be played in your battle area. And then you could do active main once per turn. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode. Ignoring barrier. It can't switch to active mode. Up to the start of your next turn. And then you're also running... Well, also this card has an active main of Sparking 7. Your opponent has 7 more cards in rest mode. If your leader card is yellow, Shenron card. And this card is in rest mode. Deal 1 damage to your opponent. And now he's got Clan of Terra Mecha Frieza. When you play this card, your opponent reveals the hand. Then you can choose one battle card among it, among it, and your opponent plays that card in their battle area in rest mode. I mean, I'm not sure why you want to put a battle card in their field in rest mode. Unless it's like, okay, they're at like 2 life, and it's a bro leader or something. You, they got a 1 cost in hand for some reason. Then you... You play that card, and they got they have to take the two damage, or the two life from two cards from life. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not too sure. I, don't, I didn't see this card get played a lot. And then next card, Mecha Freezer, the Returning Terra. He's running two of these. He's got dual attack, and then when you play this card, I could place one card from my hand to drop. If I do so, choose up to two opponents' battle cards in rest mode, KO them. Then this card gets double strike. So I can get dual strike, dual attack, double strike. Then we got some black cards here. Dangerous Journey Boma. When you play this card, you lead to Shenron. Choose three cards, three battle cards in your energy with cost of three or more in your drop, and then shuffle them back into your deck. We got some Kamis, just one of them. Crisis Crusher, Son Goku, one of them. Tien, one of those. 
five regular Dragon Balls and two one star Dragon Balls. Then we're gonna get into the extra cards. One battering laser, one crusher ball, two flying nimbuses, one personal ambition, four time magics, and four revival of the emperor, and three radar dragon radars. It's also got a sideboard here, and the sideboard consists of flying nimbus, just one of those. Deadly Defender Frieza, one of those. Another Kami, just one. Time Kronoa, Time Control Kronoa, two of those. Heavenly Wizard Demigra, uh, Mercenary Tao, Crisis Crusher Son Goku, Haru Haru, and Tien Returning Fire. But yeah, guys, that's the deck profile for this. This one is made into the top four. Top four <clears throat> of the ARG Easter event that we hosted back in April so it's not really outdated it could use a little bit of tweaks it doesn't run any uh child's wish world peace so it could use a little tweak here and there and it could probably do top two top and even one maybe but yeah guys leave a comment like comment subscribe again we got a patreon back open come visit us on there nothing really on there yet but we're just gonna start posting our deck profiles on there and you guys are gonna get it like a week ahead of time or something like that just let us know in the comments what would you like to see how you want us to do a couple things and we'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.